Moin Moin from Hamburg. My name is Onno Martens, IC designer at Trinamic. In the last video, I introduced the TMC4671 FOC servo controller. And today I'd like to show you how to set it up and calibrate it using a basic configuration. For this demo, I used the TMC4671 evaluation kit with the Landungsbrücke, the TMC4671 evaluation board, a 10 amp power stage and two Eselsbrücke connector boards. I use one of Trinamic's QBL BLDC motors with our new incremental encoder mounted on the back side. Let's start with the wiring. The motor is connected to the power stage using the lower three terminals of the connector. The hall sensor output signals are directly connected to the TMC4671 evaluation board. As the incremental encoder has differential outputs, we are just using the positive signals, so A+, B+, and N+. We can now power up the kit with our main voltage VM. So now we have three options to communicate with the IC. First we can use the standard SPI, which is connected to our Landungsbrücke. Second, we can use the real-time monitoring interface with our USB to RTMI adapter. And third, we can use a standard UART interface, for example, with an UART to USB cable. For this demo, I choose the SPI interface over the Landungsbrücke, so I can use the TMCL IDE. When I plug in the USB cable, it automatically recognizes the Landungsbrücke and scans for connected modules. I can now see here the Landungsbrücke is connected and there is my TMC4671 evaluation kit. I can use the register browser and all the other tools listed here and I will start my configuration by clicking on this icon for the wizard. I click on this icon to start the weasel configuration wizard. And now I can see the main steps of configuration. First I start with general settings for bringing up the PWM. Then I turn the motor for the first time by using the open loop mode. Then I do my ADC configuration and I set up my feedback systems, my digital hall sensors and my ABN encoder. So I continue with the first step. Here I can choose my motor type single phase DC motor, two phase stepper motor or three phase BLDC motor. I can put in my number of pole pairs. I can choose the polarity of my gate driver signals and I can choose my PWM frequency. Here I can set my BBM times and with this register I can enable the PWM. I shorten this configuration by clicking on this button, which automatically sets all parameters for BLDC motors. I continue with the configuration and here I am in the open loop settings. The open loop mode turns the motor by applying some voltage and rotating this voltage vector. I can also use the set defaults button here, which automatically sets the correct motion mode, UQ, UD, X. And as a commutation angle, I choose the VE open loop. I can now ramp up the voltage and my motor starts turning. In the next step, I can configure my ADCs. I can see now that my ADCs are measuring sinusoidal currents. In this dialog I don't have to change anything, so I proceed with the next step. In this dialog I can set ADC offsets and gains. These are automatically determined by the software. I simply have to click on the set button here and this one here 
and my face currents are offset free. I scroll down to see if they match in amplitude and we see it's quite a good match right now so I don't change anything and I can check the face right here so if I have to change my ADC signals here I can check the face and if that's okay I'm good to move on with the next step. Here I see my digital hall signals. So we see we have them properly aligned here. If the red line doesn't match the blue line, then I have to check my wiring. I see it's all okay, so I can proceed with the next step. And now I can use my digital hall signals to enable my FOC, I can use the set defaults button here to enable the talk mode. And I see my motor is already turning very fast. As this set defaults button set my commutation angle to the VE from the hall signals. It set some basic control parameters and my current limit to a lower value. I stop the motor here and I can continue here. And I see my velocity is quite high because I selected the VE for velocity measurement. I can change that to VM Hall and now I see the real mechanical velocity. I proceed with the next step now I want to configure my ABN encoder, so I switch back to open loop mode by clicking this button. Now I have to put in my encoder PPR. That's the number of positions per revolution. My encoder has 4096 lines per revolution and my PPR are four times that number, so I have to put in 16,384. I see both lines now, red and blue, have the same frequency and I have to perform a phase alignment. I can use a small software in the Landungsbrücke to perform this function. I scroll down and I use this button to perform phase alignment. Now I see both lines match. I can now proceed to the next dialog. And here I can also use the set defaults and start button to perform a first test drive with FOC and using my angle from the incremental encoder as a commutation angle. So now we have successfully set up the IC for performing FOC. Great, so we successfully set up the TMC4671. Now we have to store the configuration somehow. As the TMC4671 has no non-volatile memory, we have to store parameters in a different place. For this demo purpose, we use a configuration script. I recommend to use the script provided as plain text in the description of the video. I just close the wizard and open the TMC LPC host. Here I open my template file and I see here which module I want to use. I have to put in the correct COM port, so it's COM6. And I include a header file containing all addresses of the TMC4671 registers. I go back to the wizard and I go to the first dialog. Here I see the button export to TMCL PC host. I click this 
and I close the wizard again and I see now that the registers I configured in the wizard are now here in the TMCL PC script. So I can proceed with this for all other dialogues and generate a full configuration file. So I open the wizard again. I switch to open loop settings. I click set defaults and I ramp up the voltage. So the motor turns again and I click on export to TMC LPC host. I close the wizard again and now I see my open loop settings here. Now I save the template and I switch off the power supply and disconnect the USB. Now I switch on the power supply again and reconnect the USB. And now I can run the script and the motor should be turning again. You see configuration is pretty easy and straightforward. In the next video I will explain how to tune the controllers. So thanks for watching and as we say in Hamburg, tschüss und auf Wiedersehen.